What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you already subscribed and if you're not subscribed, please consider to subscribe because there's a ton of details for you and I made this channel for you guys, all right? And today's lesson is gonna be Kiss the Dragon, tip how to get, how to scramble easy, use the reverse De La Riva. Uh, uh, I'm gonna show you guys why you guys getting cross face, right? So to anticipate, to prevent, to get cross face and spin under. Also, the kiss the drag, I'm gonna show you how to sweep from there, how to do a back take, how to do a knee bar, plus how to do a foot lock from the kiss the dragon. So those are the, the ideas that I, I separate for you guys today. Tips how to get under in a safe way, tip to don't get crushed on a cross face, plus those variations of sweep and transitions of back take, knee bars, and foot lock, okay? So stay tuned. If you don't know me, I am Mark Chinook, Marcel Garcia, Black Bell, five-time world champ, big us. All right, let's jump into the lesson. So, we're gonna start right here. So, kiss the dragon usually when the person on the knees, right? The person can be standing or the person can be on the knees like this. So, basically, it's gonna be reverse de la hip, okay? And then ankle grip, okay? And then I'm gonna show you guys also ways to get uh, control of this ankle. So, the first one, traditional one, just hold the ankle, okay? So let's start a way to spin first, okay? So now from here, I like to use my leg to pave my body. So as you can see, I'm gonna use my leg to go all the way under the person. So my leg, my head goes from there all the way here, okay? So the first tip is using my leg, okay? So I use my leg to spin my whole body. There's nothing to do with flexibility, okay? So use your leg to help your body pave under. Okay, second tip that I like to use here is if Matt has collar grip or he's attacked to me super tight, okay? So what I like to do here, so move this way, Matt. I like to use my foot on the hip to extend Matt away. Now from here, if he holds this collar, I'm gonna extend away with using my leg and now the hole is here, okay? I'm gonna use my leg to go here. I want to use to break this grip, biceps. Now I have the spider with the reverse de la heel. Now I use the spider to help you spin using pull and then spin all the way around. And there I am from the back. And then for here, everything starts from this point right here. I'm just showing you guys how to get there. Okay, so let's go back. So using here, he's attacked to me, he's holding my collar, using my foot on the hip, okay? So from here, I extend with my leg first, no even hands yet. Now using this collar grip, I can use my knee to break the grip, spider. Now I have this whole space right here to spin under with control, and there I am with the, the connection, okay? So let's go back. There are options that you can use. You can also combine reverse de la hip, ankle grip. He has my collar grip, okay? Now using this, I can use my knee to break, spider, okay? Also I can use lasso too. Now I have the lasso, leg. So now I'm gonna pull my knee from the lasso and then from here, it's the exact same thing, so you're more attacked to the person. And then, if you wanna finish, just open the lasso, and then you're gonna go into the sweep, forcing Matt go to his shoulders. And then from here, you can come on top, okay? So you can use leg itself, you can use knee, foot on the biceps, you can use your foot on the hip to extend the person, also you can use the lasso, okay? And the last and the least right here, you can use thumb down on a collar, okay? So just to keep the distance away. So this, for, uh, avoid the person from going. So I use thumb down on a collar to keep Matt away, ankle. Now I'm gonna go here, and now let go the collar and start working to get to whatever I wanted to get, okay? So those are the tips that you can use. I believe there's so many from there, but those are, helps you go under the person a lot easy. If you, especially if you're not flexible, sometimes 
I'm not having the proper connections on my partner. That's why I cannot scramble under. And I do believe it's very easy. You just have to practice, okay? Now let's take a look at the tips how to get a better control on the ankle. Number one, you can go like this here, okay? You can go here and now everything is on my body. Number two, you can use pants. Pants grip also help keep the leg connected to me. And then number three, you can go under hook, just like a muscle grip right here. And now everything's the same. I can go here, there, everything's the same from here, and spin, pull back, now I'm under, and I connect. This grip is really good grip, and I don't lose, look, I can come up, and this grip is so attacked from there. So those are the three ways that you can do holding, cupping the ankle, holding the pants, or underhook and get the muscle grip, okay? So we saw some options of how to stay connected. We saw some options of how to engage on the ankle. Now, whenever comes after the video, comes after th those connections. So if you master this, how to stay connected. If you master how to engage on the ankle, everything else becomes easy, okay? So now is, everything is a variation. So let's go for number one. We're gonna go into sweep. So sweep, I'm gonna go here. Ankle grip, I'm gonna use this ankle grip, right? I'm gonna go from this one here. Break this grip, spider. I really like this spider because I can push, pull easy. Now when I'm going under, pay attention. The spider grip pushes mat on the shoulder. So I'm gonna push mat everything that way. Okay, now take my bicep out, pull the arm to you, come up, until you build a base. Now I'm in the same position from top holding the ankle and the sleeve. Now to finalize that, let go, push down, knee cut, cross his arm that way, on the hook, and here I am with a very nice and beautiful, I think it's really beautiful this week when you spin under. The faster do the better, okay? So let's do faster here, there. When I'm spinning, and pushing mat that way, come up, and then from here, chop me cut through, cross face, and then cross grip, and then go there. Okay, so number one, sweep. Number two, a back take. There's variety of back take, but I want to skip short. Let's go into the back take. So that's a ton of details right here. So, here, back take. I'm gonna go changing the grip. Okay, oh, but Mark, he has this grip right here. Block, okay. So now I extend and then go under. This time he did not fall. Now, Matt, move this way a little bit. Go away. Yes. So the cam is gonna come close right here. So I'll come close on my grips. Now to the back take right here. All I had to do here is take my original reverse delt hip and palm over. So from here, over here. Now I'm gonna let go, extend Matt away grab the belt from here grab the belt now pay attention i'm gonna keep falling to the other side that's the difficult side i'm keep extending my hook that way and fall on this side where i meet him with the seat belt as you guys can see his hip lands right between my legs and then seat belt hook comes in and then i am with the back okay so keep the dragon opportunity to go for the back here i'm gonna use there, I'm gonna use the lasso this time. So I'm gonna go there, same thing. Okay, so move the camera around, move the direction, move the direction, yes. From here, bow, palm this leg, give up on the lasso, I push, bow. Now from here, I keep pushing him. Let's go back, there I am with the back take, okay? So once again, there's so many ways to get to the back, okay? Now, third option, let's go for the knee bar, okay? So, knee bar here. Invest in your Jiu-Jitsu today. There is eight amazing instructionals for you to level up. There is three lasso guard instructionals, one for each knee. There is winning double knee position. Everything starts from the knees. There is a half guard plan, how to pass the half guard. There's two amazing close guard, one all about sweeps and one all about submissions. And there is also how to pass the lasso guard. If you wanna check it out, go at bjfanatics.com and don't wait. Invest in your jiu-jitsu today. 
whatever grip have pants spider or even loving i'm gonna use call this time i'm gonna scramble boom for the knee bar move this way man for the knee bar pay attention right here so make sure the camera can see this detail right here from the from the collar or the sleeve whatever i want to block this pants why would I block this pants? Because I don't want him to square up. So from here, I'm avoiding him to square up that way, man. Go that way. And now I lost my angle. So block right here, okay? So now pay attention for the knee bar. Hold the ankle, bottom leg, block here, okay? I have my grip, block. Now I'm gonna pommel my leg under here, under, and now pull mat here. Now I'm gonna lock my figure four and the knee bar is right there. Why is it important to hold that? Because right now, if I let go, Matt turns that way and I lost the knee. Okay, so keeping the pants, buy me some time to hit the knee bar nice and tight. Okay, so scramble quick here. I break this grip. Let's go for the last one again. There, I scramble, boom. Let go the sleeve, I went for the collar be before, but I'm gonna go for the last so you guys can see the difference. Block right here, block right there. Palm, drag mat into my legs, and then hit the knee bar super hard right there, okay? And the final one here is a count on the knee bar, match the fans, right? Go here, there, I spin under, here, block the knee at the pants one more time, Go right here, pummeling, and then when I go for the knee bar, he spin out. Exactly, so pinch your legs. Now, just wrap the foot, get it nice and tight. Grab, readjust your grip on your collar. Now, step the gas, and now bridge into it. Just go that way, and the foot is right here. Just press the gas, and then go that way. So just reverse, just go back up for a second. I'm coming from the knee bar. I'm coming from here. Sometimes when you go, he spin out, boom. Don't lose it. Wrap the foot, and then from here, just spin and get to the foot right there, okay? So those are the options that you can do from the, the Kiss of the Dragon. Uh, let me show you one more thing here that why you, you're getting crushed, why you're getting cross face every time, why you're losing this every time. Because you know, it's in France, right? I'm here. Every time I try to go under right here, if I have the car, whatever, when I go under here, Matt comes the cross face, boom, and that's the problem right here. So don't keep right here, keep cross face. Don't do this because you won't be able to lose it, okay? So every time he's pain, let's go again. You go here, there, he spin under. Never let a person get a hold of your head. You're never gonna get under, okay? So make sure when he goes here, these hands can go there. This foot can go extended. Now when I'm going under, I'm going under with this frame. So get to my head, man. He can get into my head and then I have the free way to go under, okay? The trick part is extend him once I land. Extend him with my foot and arm. Now I have this full here. Even if you have this collar grip right here, my head can go over the hands. And now here I am. He won't be able to get to my head by this point. I just kept going. Okay? Go back here. Another option is I want to get this part. What I like to do, block on the far. Just move this way a little bit. I want to get on the, on the far armpit. When I'm here, I'm about to get close, he got you cross face. Boom, block, just go, hold, hold. Here, now I'm gonna spin with this. So now I push him over my head, and then from here, I have all the way. And then if you get to this point, you can do all the options, sweep, knee bars, everything, back take, but avoid the cross face. Keep eyes on the cross face. You can extend, you can block, right? Or even try to go, I, I like to hold this biceps, spin, control the biceps, which you have a free way from there, okay? So those are the options that I separate for you today, okay? Tips how to get there, tip how to hold the ankle, 
tip how to get you a back sweep or even knee bar foot locks so let me know in the comment which one you like it and i would like to hear from you kiss the dry can be one of the most powerful positions to get under any bigger opponents if you're small scramble fight under the person's leg and there's a ton of options for there. okay so thank you so much and please comment on the video which what you like to see on the channel and i would like to break down for you okay thank you so much